Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, uh, you know, from time to time we talk about things that you need to get out of your life. Right. Get rid of. Yes. Let go. Yes. It's like flinging your hands across the screen like that. Get rid of that. That should go. That should go. Yeah. Uh, and our demographic on our show is men only <laughs> from the age of 25 to 54. And we got a bunch of men that listen in that demographic. And so for you who are over 40, today we will bring you things to purge from your life immediately, if not sooner. That's next on Mental So Smart. Welcome to our show. <laughs> I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. And this is Men Are So Smart. We're glad you're here. Hope you enjoyed today's show. If you do, be sure and give it a like. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. Click the bell when you do. You'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. So, things that you need to get rid of by the age of 40, Ronnie. Now, please take these with a grain of salt. Yes. Because we certainly have. <laughs> yeah. Because number one, Hoodies. hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> if you're over 40, don't be wearing hoodies. Yeah. Unless you're 60. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this says uh, only college students or multi-billionaires in their 20s or 30s, like say Mark Zuckerberg. Or Ronnie. Or me, can make these things work. Mm -hmm. mm, not true. No, I'm cold. I wear yeah, a woody. A, hood, exactly. a woody. Uh, or are you a college student or a multi-billionaire 20s 30s if not you may look like you're in a perpetual state of laundry day next up frozen pizza rolls you need to get rid of them from your life you know what i say to you f yeah <laughs> i love pizza rolls thanks but no thanks on a super bowl sunday are you kidding me it wouldn't be the same frozen food and pizza are the cuisine of the college age student so Combining the two of them into a convenient, tasty snack makes it seem like you're in denial about your age. Not only are they super unhealthy and hardly ideal for your newly slowed down metabolism, but they're also embarrassing. By 40, you really should know how to cook at least a few basic appetizers. There's nothing wrong with pizza Screw rolls. Screw off. Nothing wrong with pizza rolls. I told you we were taking it yeah. lightly. Yeah. Uh, this next one. I don't know. Again, uh, maybe. Novelty ties. Oh, I yeah. Yeah, so okay. you know what? I have one that my kids made for me for Father's Day uh -huh. a long time ago. Uh -huh. uh, I have worn it one time to a uh, school function, and I've been sitting there ever since, but I can't get rid of it. So, yeah. But I, they're actually talking more about... The, the ties that look like a fish yeah. type thing. Those are the ones. Yeah, you can probably safely get rid of those. Uh, they're kind of on the same level as dad jokes, they say. Mm -hmm. And, and they dad don't, bods. Right. <laughs> and they don't help you get taken seriously in the office. Um, okay, I do have a couple of Beatles ties. So like do a, I! That's I what a, I was going to tell you. I have a Yellow Submarine tie, um, and I have some Jerry Garcia ties. A Grateful Dead, I have yes. those too, Ron. So, although I wouldn't consider them novelty per se, uh -huh. not like the fish tie. Right. But Or the piano keys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, some of those, unless you're a piano player, uh, probably you can probably or get rid of those. a nightclub DJ. Or a nightclub DJ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up on our list of things you need to get rid of by the age of 40. Baseball caps. What the what? It's easy to forget looking at the youngsters these days, but there are literally so many different kinds of hats available to you should you feel the need to clothe your noggin, Ronnie. Uh, I like my baseball caps. Resorting to a baseball cap in the face of such choice simply suggests that you lack imagination. Either that, or you still haven't gotten over Derek Jeter's retirement. Okay, come on, that's been several years now. Uh, one of my favorite memes on, on social media is this um, millennial who's at a baseball game, and he's got his hat on backwards, oh, yeah. and he's doing this. <laughs> 
You don't get it, do you? You know what? I wonder if people would wear their baseball caps backward if it weren't for Junior. Oh. Uh, That's the only exception. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah. Well, yeah, and him, and I was thinking of the uh, the baseball player. God damn it, I can't think of his his name. Uh, played for Seattle for... Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. He's the first guy I ever remember seeing is wearing a baseball cap backwards. And I was the first guy that said, hey, put your, turn your hat around. Yeah. <laughs> I told a friend of mine also on social media, I saw him with a picture with a hat on, and I said, did, did you have a mirror by your front door? Cause <laughs> Obviously not. Your hat's on backwards. Yeah. <laughs> and he would tell me, it was a blustery day. Oh, well, that makes sense. Got blown off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this next one. Yeah. I like this one. Twinkle lights. Oh, twinkle lights. Kill the no twinkle lights. twinkle lights. Yeah. I love them. If you're in your 20s, a settled twinkle light signaled that your apartment or dorm room was a magical place filled with warmth and light and possibly unicorns. Uh, in your 40s, however, or up, people are just going to think you forgot to take down your holiday decorations. <laughs> I would have to say that's probably true. Yeah, which yeah. reminds me, to, you know, we have April Fool's Day, April 1st coming up, so I've got to that's get right. my Christmas lights up. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking about taking mine down. Uh, oh, I'm planning on doing it next weekend. Yeah. All right, things to get rid of. Staying at a dead-end job. Oh. Going to work every day simply for the paycheck is so your 20s. If your current position doesn't have you waking up consistently excited for the day ahead, it's time to bid your employer adieu. At the very least, ask for a raise or a promotion. If they say no, leave. If they say yes, well, you still might not love your job, but at least it's no longer a dead end. Yep. So, 20s. Yeah. Well, and this next one also, uh, staying in a toxic relationship. That oh. is so bad. Got to get rid of that. Uh, when you're young, having a dramatic argument followed by passionate makeup sex feels absolutely thrilling. But by your 40s, you realize that chasing your lover down the street, naked in the middle of the night, is at the very least not cute. Did you say naked? Naked. Yeah, <laughs> naked. Uh, being in a happy relationship may be kind of boring, but it's the best kind of boring. <laughs> oh, man, I had me some... Some crazy girlfriends. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying uh, something else. And you know what? It was. It was kind of fun to go to work and talk about all the crazy stuff your girlfriend had done. Uh -huh. But now, pff, I don't want to talk about that. I mean, I don't want that. Yeah. Nobody wants that in their life once you reach a certain age. No, I have some friends. In fact, we share a mutual friend who loves to talk about illicit sexual activity oh yeah <laughs> and i always go whoa 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 bro yeah that's not me okay yeah. i don't want to hear about that my drama i like it right about here <laughs> every once in a while if you have a little up that's okay just yeah. a tiny little speed bump but none of these anymore <laughs> yeah those are bad next up things the list of things you should be rid of by the age of 40 a condiment pack collection <laughs> <laughs> this is only acceptable if you're a college student who is really hard pressed for cash if you're north of 40 it just makes it obvious that you never cook your own meals but that's not necessarily true i keep a whole bag of condiments out in the garage for like you know uh i need some ketchup or chinese food i need some soy sauce you know or, what that is true you know maybe some dipping sauce from what's that place you like a chick-fil-a oh, chick we got it we had yeah. fries from there yesterday see you do have yes condiments and yes so that's a bunch of crap yep okay this next one and mm. i'm trying to get my wife squared away on this okay get rid of mismatched silverware really ron yes <laughs> mismatched silverware so my son who still lives with us yes he has his own silverware because he doesn't always bring it down after he uses it. So he eats, he eats a lot of meals up in his room. Sounds familiar to me, too. And so you go to the drawer, and there's no silverware. And you go look in the wash the dishwasher, no there's silverware. no silverware. So we have our silverware. Right. He has his. That makes sense. But they're completely matched sets. So I went out, and I actually bought a setting of eight, uh, eight of each. Big spoons, little spoons, right. big forks, little forks teaspoons, knives, and told Vicky we need to get rid of the old stuff because we have like three of some and two of another and six of some. I go, let's just start from scratch, start with this. She has a hard time 
cutting the cord on the really yeah on the old silverware. Get rid of it. Uh, confusion and disorganization, not so bueno. All right. Next up, camo anything. Ronnie, could you do me a favor? Uh, Stand up. Wait. I take ex you know my whole outfit. Apparently, I need to purge. <laughs> Camo sweats. Thank you. It's kind of chilly here today in Sacramento area. It's 40, I think it was 44 degrees this morning. Ronnie, you're over 60. They're saying get rid of those things by the age of 40. I'll take Come them off. Come on, man. I'll take them off after this show. Camo belongs in two places, the military and the runway, not your closet. <laughs> there, I could not have said it better myself. <laughs> All right, our list of things that you need to purge from your life by the age of 40. Uh, unhealthy eating habits. Uh -huh. Boy, I have been trying, but pizza to me is like freaking crack cocaine. We had Mountain Mike's last night, sorry. I could have just eaten a meal, uh, as I did yesterday. I went. I told you I went to my son's uh, high, old high school. Right. They had a March Madness uh, viewing party last night. I went there. And I had a sausage and some nachos. And then about 20 minutes later, they broke the pizzas out. I had to have a couple pieces of pizza. Well, of course you did. So, uh, but lack of exercise, the 4 a.m. pizza really starts to catch up with you in your 40s and above. So, yeah, I should probably start eating a little bit healthier. I know my doctor always, he tells me that every time I go in there, I told them, hey, if and they really want me to cut back on carbs and sweets. Pizza. I said, I, you know what? There's no sense in living. Right. Why would I live if I can't have carbs? I love bread. I love pasta. Uh, I. You know what? Can I make a statement here real quick? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's our show, so we can do that. <laughs> we can kind if of he do says that. yes, then I can do it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're thinking. Uh, here's the thing. I'm at the age now where I'll be 60 on my birthday in July. I went through cancer and came out on the other side and I'm okay and cancer free. However, when it comes to really worrying about how much I'm going to watch my weight and what I drink, you know what? I'm going to take that day by day, my friends. That's up to me. It's my life. I want to be there for my grandson. Don't get and my grandsons. Don't get me wrong. But the point is, if I want to have my fifth beer, I'm going to have that. If I want to have pizza or Chinese food, I'm sorry. I'm going to have that. I'm going to enjoy whatever time I have left on this earth. Amen. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you really should. Uh, again, pizza for me, I'll, I'll eat it. Anytime, any place. You deserve it, Ron. You worked in law enforcement for 30 years. I feel like I did. Thank you. You want to have pizza, then you freaking have pizza. I'm gonna. And you know what? Tell them I said it was all I, right. Whoever I, it is. I feel like having one right now. Even user Vicky. <laughs> Drinking heavily. You got to get rid of that. Okay? As you age, you realize that your ability to bounce, this is it right here. Your ability to bounce back after a night of a lot of drinking, uh, they rapidly diminish. So it's a good time to curb your alcohol consumption to a glass of something that you really enjoy, one here and one there, rather than cheap tequila shots at a local dive bar. Um, we've said it before on this show, I have, I've said it on the show before, I really enjoy having like a little shot of tequila. One. Yeah. Not every night, sometimes maybe two, but you know what, that's it. I'm not an amateur drinker. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Going out and getting blasted and then having to deal with a hangover. Oh, God. Wow. No, thank you. Never want to do with that again. That's for amateurs. Yep. And I don't drink much, but I do drink socially. If we go somewhere and everybody is enjoying a beer, I'll have a beer. Sure. But, uh, yeah, but I, I'm never going to be. We were talking about some of the symptoms today. That point where you lay down on your bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's spinning. Right. Ooh. What happens next is never good. <laughs> yeah, that's so, that is so uncomfortable. Because you're laying there like this. <laughs> yeah. If you don't hold on to the bed, you could be thrown off. Oh, you're going. <laughs> you're going off that bed. All right, next up, keychain bottle openers. <laughs> the boss tried to hand me one of those he found in his <laughs> desk the other day. I go, I don't even drink out of a bottle. <laughs> 
we went to dinner with some friends the other night and it was some kind of a Alaskan beer night. I'm not really sure. Oh, and when you bought a beer, you got a pint to take home with you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it was it was kind of cool. I, I did not enjoy one. But they were also hand, handing out uh, window stickers with the name of the beer. Oh, yeah. For and you. bottle openers. And so they handed one to me, and I promptly like... What am I going to do with no that? No, thanks. I yeah. gave it to my wife, and... I'm sure she hung on to it. She hangs on to everything. But if there are no bottle openers around and you're relaying on a doohickey attached to your keys to get your drink of choice open, you might want to ask yourself why it is you're drinking in the first place <laughs> and why it's attached to the keys that your car right. hat are on. Yeah, that's uh, not a good uh, not a good combo. Well, as a police officer, if you pull somebody over that you notice that they have that on their keychain, does that make you... Yeah. Suspicious? Yeah, it makes me sniff just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you this. My last truck, I had a Tacoma that somebody on their cell phone totaled for me. But I did have a bottle opener uh, screwed to the inside of the bed. So if we were tailgating oh, someplace, yeah, 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 yeah. you could just crack it on there. And I've that went with the truck when it got totaled. I would like to buy another one and put it on my, my Tundra just because. But we'll you, see. You know something? I, I'm I'm reconsidering this. You're saying it's a good thing. It's I'm okay. I'm saying that if we went out to my car out front right now, there might be a wine opener in the glove compartment. <laughs> well, Here, here's why. Going to picnic? Because one time we were in Tahoe and bought a bottle of wine, took it back to the hotel room, and didn't have one. So I had to run out, buy one at a store, yep. and from that point on, I've just kept it in my glove box All right. in the event that, you know, we go someplace and buy a bottle of wine. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Have I used it? I don't <laughs> even drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably a good thing. All right. Social media oversharing. Oh, my oh God. Please boy. stop. Oh, boy. Please, please stop, Debbie. <laughs> this is a bad idea in general. Given that tech addiction is on the rise, and we just did an episode of that, how social media is the same as being ad addicted to opioids. Yep. But one of the joys of being older is that you've missed the period of time when you're most liable to become addicted to social media, and this is one compulsion you definitely want to avoid. You know, maybe there was a time where I spent a great deal of time on Facebook, but you know, if you were to look through my timeline, I post about once a month. Yeah. You know? Yep. Just something, and usually it's something that I share because it's I find it interesting or helpful. You know, that's about it. Or funny stuff. Yes. Or funny stuff. Yeah, I, I try to do one of those yeah. every once in a while. That's what social media should be about. Yep. All right. Okay, this next one. Hey, if you're over 40, you got to cut this out. Flaking on plans at the last minute. Yeah, exactly. And, and even worse than that is when you're late for an appointment. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm not big on either one of those two groups. Uh, it says, not only are you too old for rudely flaking on plans but also your friends are too wise not to see through whatever excuse it is you throw their way. Do everyone a favor and treat RSVPs the way uh, you used to treat blood oaths without the bleeding part. Uh, you might just find yourself invited to a whole lot more parties than usual. I mean, you know, if you're going to a party, I don't think it's as critical to arrive when they say it's from, you know, six to 10 p.m. You don't have to be there right at six. Nobody cares if you're there, you know, right when it starts. Right. Unless there's some kind of, unless it's a surprise, surprise. party. Surprise party, you got to be there, you know, before the person gets in. Uh, but man, anything else, eh, you can, it's okay to be a couple minutes late, maybe. I, you know, everybody understands traffic. Exactly. But, oh boy, my son, he's the worst. Yeah. He, we have to give him one hour's notice before we're going to go out to dinner, go to my in-law's house. He has to have one hour. And it's not, I don't think he's spending that time in the bathroom getting ready. I just, you know, I, I don't know what it is exactly, but I think that's kind of a, a millennial thing is just taking a long time and not 
not being on time for anything. You know, speaking of which, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. Where I work, we have two younger people who are millennials. And uh, both of these people work the same shift that I do. I work from eight till five. And I'm there at 7.55 every morning. I set my stuff in down. Maybe I go to the restroom. I come back and I clock in at a minute to eight. And they show up at like 10 after. Yeah. And I keep thinking to myself, maybe that eight o'clock number, maybe that's just a suggestion. Because obviously, it's not a rule to them. Right. And I don't know why they continue to be able to get along or are allowed to get it, go keep going that way. Yeah. But at the same time, don't they know it's 8 o'clock? Right. It's not 8.15 or 8.30 when it's convenient to you. Well, my wife's job, uh, she had to be work at 4 a.m. Oh, my. Because they dealt with, she was in transportation uh, business, and they were dealing with freight from the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So at 7 a.m., which is where a lot of trucking companies start, that's 4 a.m. here. Mm -hmm. So she has to be there answering the phone at 4 a.m. She's never late. Uh, she, thankfully, she only lives, we only live about, eh, maybe at that time of morning, maybe 10 minutes from her work. But uh, she would always leave here at about, you know, like 3.38 in the morning. So she'd be there in plenty of time to have a cup of coffee clock in, sit down, get her computer fired up, and be ready to go when, at 4 a.m. Well, this has been a list of things you need to get rid of. You need to set aside and put away after you reach the age of 40. I think we can agree on many of these things. They seem to be pretty obvious, Yep. except for camo. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> baseball caps and hoodies. <laughs> right. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, give it a like. We'd appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel. It's easy to do. Just click that red button. And when you do, click the bell, too. And so you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not. But um, I've been letting some of the shows go at 6 a.m. Pacific. So they come up at 9 o'clock on the East Coast. Oh, wow. It seems to be working out better for people. Wow. So we'll see what happens. How about that? Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is when we roll. Um, and Fridays we try to do a Fen show for you, a Forest Fen show. So that'll be coming up. Also, Ronnie, we're going to be live streaming. I saw that. Yeah. Scary. That's coming up in like two weeks. We'll keep you posted. Be sure you're there because we're going to want to see your comments. And, um, you know, we'll probably go a little longer with you if, if uh, more people are watching. We'll I may be a little you. bit late for that one. I'll be there at, at 7.59. What time will you be there? 8.10? Probably 8.10. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Is it Corvette or Camo? Camo Corvette Ronnie. Camo Corvette Ronnie. Yeah. This has been Men Are So Smart. Later. <laughs>